How can you build more interaction into your PowerPoint presentations? If you'd like to make your presentations more dynamic and exciting and bring your presentations to life, try using Zoom for PowerPoint. No, this isn't the virtual meeting platform Zoom. This is a feature within PowerPoint that gives you the flexibility to jump to and from specific slides, sections, and portions of your presentation in an order you decide while you're presenting. In this slide, for instance, we have a summary or overview of the presentation topics, but it's currently static unless we add hyperlinks to each of the topics. Instead, we'll build an interactive dashboard with Zoom. A summary Zoom is like a landing page where you can see the pieces of your presentation all at once. When you're presenting, you can use the Zoom to go from one place in your presentation to another in any order that you like. For instance, if I would like to move to the section on smart art, I'll simply click on this. It will zoom in and it's actually going to that slide. And then I can navigate through the content that I want to share about working with smart art and PowerPoint. When I'm done, it will zoom back out. So you can get creative, skip ahead, or revisit pieces of your slideshow without interrupting the flow of your presentation. For the best results, your presentation should be clearly organized with section slides or topics. If you already have sections in your presentation, the first slide of each section is pre-selected by default. If you don't have sections created, PowerPoint will analyze your presentation and add sections based on slides formatted as a section slide. So for instance, we have these section slides for charts and tables, smart art. So these are clearly designating new topics or new areas to make it easy to work with Summary Zoom. To learn more about creating and working with sections in PowerPoint, click the link above or find the link below in the description. Let's look at how to create a Summary Zoom. First, go to the Insert option in the ribbon. And in the Links group, here you will find Zoom. And here we see Summary Zoom. So this is when we want to summarize the entire presentation on one slide. If I want to show selected slides only, then I could use the slide zoom. Or to show a single section only, then that would be the section zoom. Those options are not currently available based upon my view. So we'll cover the last two topics in future videos. Right now, I'll pick Summary Zoom. The Insert Summary Zoom dialog box opens up. And from here, we will select the slides that we want to include in the Summary Zoom. These become the first slides of your Summary Zoom sections. So based upon the type of slide, that's what PowerPoint is looking for. And in this case, I don't want that opening title slide, but that might be a way for us to, for instance, get back to the very beginning at any point. And so preview this and see what is currently coming up as the selections. And because these are section slides, they're automatically being selected. You can pick whichever slides make sense for you. If you don't want to include certain sections, go ahead and deselect them. If you want other slides, a section, you can pick them. And so they will become sections or an organization piece in your presentation as well as part of your summary Zoom. Notice the option keep unused sections in your presentation which is a good option most of the time because we may want to isolate or limit our summary Zoom and there may be certain sections that we aren't planning to include. Once you've reviewed these options, go ahead and pick Insert. Your summary Zoom is now created and it appears as a new slide just before the first slide that you included in your summary Zoom. So that's why I see it here. As needed, reposition the summary Zoom within your presentation. I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment here. So I'll double click on this slide and I have the content, but to add a little bit more visual interest, what I'm going to do is move this content into another slide. So I'll simply select, let's click and drag to select those, Control C to copy. I'll move over to this slide, Control V to paste. Now, if I no longer need that slide, I can actually move to that section, right click, and I can remove the section and the slides. Let's go ahead and try this. I'll press Shift F5 to launch my presentation from the current slide. Next, I'll move to Charts and Tables, zooms in. So it's actually going to that slide in the presentation. I'll navigate through these. 
when I'm done, it zooms back out. So it takes me back to this. We can treat it like a table of contents, an easy interactive way to be able to move to the key sections of this presentation. So when it comes back in, that's the Zoom transition. To add other interactive options to your presentations, including hyperlinks and action buttons, look in the description below for links to these PowerPoint videos. Once you've created a summary Zoom, you might want to add or remove sections of your presentations. If you've made changes since first making your summary Zoom that you want to capture, you don't have to start from scratch. You just need to update the summary Zoom. So here's another example of that summary Zoom. And what I'll do is simply select this. And what that does is it enables or gives me access to the Zoom ribbon. Now I have the option at the left-hand side to edit the summary. And so if there's anything that I'd like to exclude from this, then I can do so. But it's showing me those options. And maybe I decided, yes, I'd like to put that title slide in there after all. So I could add that and update. Now you can see it's updated the summary zoom to include this new section or piece within the presentation. Notice the other options in the zoom tab. So if I select this area here, I come into zoom and here is the behavior, for instance. That is, once we select that, notice that it uses a zoom transition. That is a kind of, kind of zooming in and out. How long that duration is, you can certainly change it. If you have moved any of these objects around, because these are individual objects, you can reset the layout if that's helpful. You can apply different zoom styles. So if you wanted to, for instance, I could select all of these. Let's do that and let's apply shadows to it or a border, whatever might be helpful in terms of modifying that, whatever you'd like. You can see as I hover over, it modifies that. We could have a border, if that made sense, to have those stand out more so. So you can experiment with whatever might make this a little bit more readable or helpful for you. And that's a look at how easy it is to add interaction and engagement to your PowerPoint presentations by using a summary Zoom. How will you take advantage of the summary Zoom option for your next PowerPoint presentation? To learn more ways to be productive with Microsoft PowerPoint, to join my free tips letter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash PowerPoint. If this training was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching.